with the city. So, Jack, do you want to talk about that before we start on the agenda? Well, first, go around just so because we have some new members. All right. I'm Jack. I'm Jim. Amanda. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Steve. Stan. And Sarah. Okay. Well, in the meeting, um, well, Stan was there. Why don't, Stan, why don't you tell him what happened in the meeting? I don't know. You can tell him. Well, when I, I can. Go ahead. Oh. It's good for you. Oh, I don't know. It went pretty well. Um, <laughs> they're working with us, not against us. I don't know. That's marvelous. They're oh. working with us and not against us. No. And the issue is more detail. The issues you address. Um, I don't know, man. Tell him, Jack. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I love the way you hand the microphone over to Jack. And now... Come on. No, no, like... Just go, go through your mind. Take your time. Even uh, if you have to sit I there... I can't go through my mind right now. Oh, it's all... Be so late, excited, huh? About the city. It, did, it went pretty well, and it went, you know, it's okay. Yeah. Woo! They're doing some stuff on Sunday. We already knew about it, though. I know, I told them about moving the stuff to the stone slabs for like the rain. They said that they're going to talk to their, their people about it and get back to us in a week. But it may start raining before that week, so we may just have to like... Well, we have lots of tarps and all we need is ropes for those tarps and we can tie that stuff. And once you get a tarp going at, a, at even just a slightly angular level, it'll keep the rain off of everything. It's just, a, you guys, I saw the way you put up the tarp last week. And you guys need to be more patient and work together instead of being in such a hurry and just you can't just sling a tarp over, you gotta stretch it tight and keep it tight. Well this is let's get back to because we have new members and we might right. as well help them All right. learn what the the, the the whole program is here. Like we're really trying to we're in one little marriage here together all the time, so we try to not speak out, we try to really listen to other people as well as possible, not interrupt. And some of our hand signals, like uh, when we really like something rather than scream, hey, like that, which we do a lot anyway, uh, we did do this. And that doesn't interrupt things. And if you really want to want to talk about something, you might do this, you know. And, or raise your hand if you want to talk, if you have a point of process and it has something to do with the thing that was just said that you need to, that was wrong, or, or the process was wrong. They're, they're, they're a little off, or it should be considered. Put this up. Those are the hand signals for a consensus process. This so you folks know. Them a letter. We formally gave them a letter about the fact that we want to come down from that. And that it's for their interest and our interest. Usually, what the law enforcement does when you have encampments so they don't like you, <laughs> they just they they start to uh, infer that you're making a mess. And the first thing they said to us today was, "We're going to power clean the the area around them." And we said, "We've been cleaning every day." That's what they said in New York. Uh, I'm sorry, right. we're taking care of our own thing. I'm glad if you want to step in and help clean, we didn't say that part. Just so you know. Right, and how did yeah. they re... They were nice. Oh, I was, gonna, I was about to say, how did they respond? Did they, they Were they agreeable though? I mean, they, there's a difference between just being nice and disagreeable and, and agreeable, whether they're nice or not. And did they agree to allow us to have the authority clean up rather than having to move everything while they power clean. Well, they said they warned us about what they did last week, that they're going to come out here and mow the lawn on Sunday and water afterward, and so that, and we worked that out fine. We moved everything, including our flags, and put it back up later. So it's no big deal. Okay. Should we move on to the agenda and let's just go ahead and agenda? Oh, no, I, I was just going to say, if we're, if we're done with that, I, I'd like to, to put an item on the agenda. Yeah, go for it. Uh, about media, and I'll elaborate when we get to it. Jesus loves you! Because 
that same guy. Jeez. Drives you around the block. Does anybody else have any agenda items they want to add to the agenda? Yes, I do. Yeah. One. So if you signed up, uh, oh, I should do this. I'm trying to. I'm not sometimes very good. Okay. All right. The agenda would be outreach locally for food and uh, cre creating more more sites. Excuse me, more sites? Well, this is a site, oh. like S I T. Mm -hmm. yes. More location. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a location. Uh, Skill sharing as often as possible. The, the camp maintenance. Uh, a legal team. And uh, the letter to the press, whether we should do that or not. The letter we sent to the authorities there was a question whether or not we should send it to the press. You will all receive letters of that, what was put in. Okay, so should we just start from the top of the agenda? Okay, so I had, I had written down on the agenda items to develop a list of grievances to put before Congress because it seems like a lot of the other Occupy movements are starting to develop. They know We know why we're here. We know what we want. And it would be good for us in going through this process that our constitution had set up for us in the beginning in order to make revolution, to develop our list of grievances. And then uh, the Jonesboro Occupy wants to have a delegation to Occupy people that are kind of elected to go to the um, July 4th convene on Congress and um, <coughs> vote on the grievances and then present it and that way we know that we have gone within our rights and from there if we are still have deaf ears then we go about it a different way and start our own kind of movement to where we elect our own Congress and start just taking back the government basically. So that is something that uh, I've been trying to work on and I've printed out some stuff and so whenever I come I'll try to bring more information about that and that way maybe we can come. It's going to be a long list. Go ahead. Oh, oh you can finish okay. if you want. I just want to get on the stack. Um, yeah, okay. You're on the stack. And then Jack will be on the stack. Okay, and so, uh, so far list agreements are long because we haven't been worked in. You know, we haven't like had anything addressed basically. They always give us like this much of what we ask for and it's not sufficient. Um, you know, obviously because we're at war with four other countries right now and um, still just bombing people under the banner of NATO. So uh, there's different things that need to really be addressed quickly. Uh, so that was another idea. And then I also have a request for a tea kettle so that we could heat hot water whenever we need here because I have one but it has to come home. I've got Okay. You're first on the stack, anyways. Go for it. Um, I, I wanted to speak to that, uh, to, yeah. that to the previous item, though. Before yeah. We move on. Go ahead. Um, are we are we still um, at the point of listing grievances, or are we now starting to list um, Rock, yeah. demands and solutions? Same kind of thing. Grievances are like what the problem is, what we believe the solution is, and this is where it's at. But it's just of a formal like letter that we can distribute and that way people like you know a lot of people are like well what are you doing what's your purpose people are still wondering and so it's good to have something in writing concrete that you can say here this is our list of grievances we can post it on the web uh, we can circulate it around humble whatever um, I've been talking with some some people and we've come up with a, a few ideas. I'll put this up on the blackboard so people will have the opportunity to read it. Okay. But uh, some of the things we're talking about is uh, having the Federal Reserve refinance college loans at the same rate that they're giving to the uh, favored corporations through the discount window. Um, ending the war in Afghanistan, the occupation in Iraq, stop the bombings, the drone attacks in Pakistan, Yemen, Libya, Somalia, and now I guess I could add in Uganda. 
Yeah. A moratorium <laughs> on illegal foreclosures. Those are, those are some of the things we've, we've been kicking around. But I'll put this up on the blackboard and, and people can add other things to it if they like. Awesome. That's good. That's the way to start it. Right on. <sighs> and then, let's see. Uh, now, I got a question. Hold on a second. Uh, you're on the stack. I'll put you on the stack. I'm on the stack, too. And Jack's on the, you're next on the stack, actually. Before yeah. we go on through the agenda, if you want to speak to the stack. Yeah, and then you're next. going to have new people come in. You've been recognized. There's always going to be new folks that come in and there's so much to learn. We've been doing other things besides learning about why we do these things. We've been on TV, we've been living our scheduled life, and to the to the extent that people come up and have... So, it's to the extent that um, people come and even when we were talking to them in the county right now, they were saying, well, what are you doing there? And, and when we said, and they said, we've had demonstrations out here for years. And what we're trying to correct here, we're here to change the government. And this is not a demonstration anymore. This is far different than a demonstration. This is a revolution. And we told him we're changed. We're here to stay until we change the government. We told them that. Okay. So we're just trying to, to get that across to a lot of scheduled-minded human beings. That's all I'm going to say. And you're next to the stack. Thank you. To save time. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah? You, are you giving I think time? he's forfeiting his Yeah. Okay, time. then I'm you're good. next on the stack, and then you... Did you have oh, yeah, my only question was... Look, um, can I make copies of that, dude? I can take it over to Kinko's. I got no money, but I'm pretty sure we can get like. Does that make sense? Is that something I could like stick a windows? Um, I'm like going that way anyway, dude. You know. I was gonna gonna put it up and let people read it before. I, I think we should get more consensus feedback yeah. before we we invest in killing more trees. Is all. Yeah. We'll we'll make a better right. list. Yeah. We'll okay, cool. Right on, dude. But then, but eventually that would be great. Yeah. That'd be ideal. We can do that. Good idea. <laughs> And then you're next on the side. I got a proposition for uh, the group, and that is <laughs> if somebody could uh, try to get in contact with uh, the other groups throughout the state and see if we can uh, have like a, a regional state meeting to find out what the other groups are corresponding, like what we, like what you guys do here with Arcata, but try to do the same with the other groups in the state, like down in Oakland and LA. Maybe to have a representative meeting of all the groups to kind of correspond with one mind in order to help change the government. Either be on satellite, computer image, or have a representative, but it would be nice if we could have a meeting, a state representative meeting of all the encampment groups so we can have all the minds meet together. Get me was you know okay, I I my, my all right it's pretty easy I, I the wind picks up a lot once in a while I've mentioned this before if anybody can bring pieces of brick heavier objects as more and more paperwork gets on the table it'd be nice to be able to really have something heavier the apples tend to roll when the wind picks up um, also. Uh, we really need to designate like night a night crew, you might say. Like people are very dependable, willing to be here to witness for whoever's holding signs. They don't necessarily have to, you know, picket the, the, the sign line all night long, but just kind of be around. It'd be good just to have two people for that, and, and so we, we're going to have to maybe organize a meeting for volunteers or, or somehow t some type of rotating schedule. And that's it. That's 
Oh, Jackson. Well, that was brought up yesterday, and we said after this meeting we would be going into how we deal with it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, okay. but the, the, the rocks is, is that is a good idea too because yeah. it's, it's, it's come here. close a couple of times bit. already. So underneath. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, we have all the resources to make paper weights. What I'm talking about is our recycled containers, the cans and the plastic bottles. <laughs> you can actually put sand and dirt in the bottles. Right. You take the, the wrapper it's off like, of it and right. put logos on But I don't want to dig up bunker. any dirt out well, of this garden, so we'll no, have to... No, not here, but other places. Right. That you can fill these empty containers Okay, well then we'll make... And take the labels off we'll and just put like logos on it. Oh, okay. Right. And then you got your paperweight. Right. And then you got the logos on paperweight. So the logos get the recyclables to do that. That is a good one. We should... Where is the recycling site? The plastic bottles, cans, whatever. The so first recycling paperweights. Right. Uh, <laughs> anything like the what we have over there in our so maybe a, a little work party we can organize to do that and then put yeah. it, it, it's not and then you, some you other uh, I, I really like that idea I'd like to discourage yeah, yeah. bricks and rocks and stuff though because they can turn into weapons yeah. um, like sand and dirt in a plastic container or something okay, okay cool. Just, that's what I meant any kind of heavy <laughs> object I mean if we get together and we yeah, and he's very really resourceful. You want to have a deal. You take a milk gallon jug, a recyclable empty milk gallon jug, rinse it out, cut part of it, put sand in it, and you have your can right. in the middle. That way it doesn't uh, fall, fall over and set your can on fire. Right. And then you were in the sack. <laughs> yeah, um, I was going to suggest crystals that we um, like charge with our intentions for healing. Put those up there. <laughs> That'd be yeah, nice. They won't them. last yeah. long. They though. disappear sometimes. Yeah. They'll disappear. Anything of value to people, unfortunately, I mean, a, a financial value is more. And you know, I do. I try to keep an eye on all that stuff, especially like the donations well, I've got bucket some, some because rocks, but at least from like Shasta, you know, yeah. like I've got some crystal in them, and we can at least like put cool. some attention into those because they hold the vibration, you know. Yeah. Okay. I've Anything you're not willing, to, and if you're not willing to lose it. Yeah, I know. I mean, if you're willing to I'll lose it, it stuff. doesn't matter to you, you know, then then go for it. Because I personally yeah. agree. But I like the idea of the box. I also think of other countries like Chinese, the Chinese lanterns and stuff that they have for lighting mm. too. We, we we should probably stay away from fire, but some kind of lantern like that yeah. sounds great. All right, and then uh, the next one here it says, "Everyone, please look at needs list and help where you can." So I think we pretty much do that if we can, but that's just, we'll just uh, I'm gonna put that out there. And then uh, media. Um, I just wanted to. This morning, I was able to uh, contact the the one station that lets you do the recordings. I got busy signals at the other ones, and I was doing other things, so I just had to kind of move on. Um, I'm not sure when they play those things, but uh, Chives has put the numbers for those people up on the uh, the bulletin board there. So I'd like to just encourage people, if you, if you're of such a mind, to to make some phone calls. Um, who do we call? Uh, there's a list of the radio stations up on the board there. And what do we tell them? Well, I made a copy of, of what I said, and just to figure that maybe people, if they had an example, might be able to, to I don't expect people to use my ideas, but just kind of to, to you, stimulate your own thoughts. Yeah, what you do. Yeah, and then Real quick, something I have not seen here. Safety of all, and for something where the city will not uh, come against us on, is we need to get some uh, some kind of donations of fire extinguishers out here. Fire extinguisher? Yeah. yeah. No, fire Majorly. Fire. Just here. Question. So I'm trying to stick to the agenda yeah. a little bit, and then uh, answering. Oh, was, I was next. Or, yeah, you were next. And all I'm saying is that what we're trying to do is, from this site, to call in... Sounds like in charge of the school program here. We all... Are you guys going to be here? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 let me take this in there, man. i got to fuck with the floor right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be right back.
Action committee. Oh, right on. That's right. All right. So what we've been doing is uh, uh, they're beginning to do it also in uh, at HSU and and uh, Arcata is to call into KMUD every day to talk about the site, what's going on, what we had to deal with, even in the in the you know like what we're doing, just what you're learning here, and just a few minutes on K a uh, KMUD. Uh, uh, station, they're right in the radio station, and they should be happy to hear from us, like they used used to be with Earth First when we called in from the trees. They like to know if the police are coming or what's going on in an action. This is an action. So I would say, are you part of this today? Uh, yeah, I, I've already, like I said, I already called and, and left the recording on the one, and I tried to call some yes, but I have a list of the okay. numbers already. Okay. And there's, right. as I was saying, there's another uh, copy of that list on our board. Yep. Well, what's TARP, T-A-R-P? Uh, toxic Asset Relief Program. And then, I forget your name, but you were on the stack if you wanted to say something. Dylan. Um, Dylan. <clears throat> yeah, if you call in, uh, I know it's totally up to you, but i uh, just like to request that you stay <laughs> inclusive instead of divisive. So instead of going, you know, all those fucking greedy rich people being more like, you know, if, if people contributed more, then we'd all be better off. You know, like, Try to make sure that people want to come join the conversation. Exactly. But speak your mind. Yeah. I was going to say that 94.1 uh, K Slug and uh, and K Hum, which I don't know what they're on a 1.2 or on a 1.3. They're the local radio stations that are really very. They're all you know. They've got actual DJs in offices right here. And they're kind of involved in the community. 94.1 K Slug, and their sister station is uh, uh, KHS. KH, no, K Hum. K Hum, yeah. yeah. They're both out of the K Slug and K Hum. Ferndale. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I something just want to tell to people that they might. All right, is that in on media? Then we'll move on to. Radio not quite as easy, but I'm going to put Jack, are you ready to talk about outreach and for food or anything? You're next on the agenda here. Okay. Well, we're beginning to get, we went a little bit low on food. Not that we're really, really, really low, but it's when when you're part of a, something like this and suddenly there's no food and it's coming up to the hour, you have to get busy. And that's everybody's work to get busy. So yesterday we went out and it was four o'clock. We didn't have anybody coming with, we had nothing. We didn't have anything to cook with, but some cans. We didn't, we really want to get some good food here. So we really went out and figured out, we got a pot together, somebody wanted to cook. We got on the phone, we started calling people who would come in and we figured it out for the next three or four days. And we just have to keep doing that. That's all I'm saying. And then we're also saying in our outreach, with, with stuff that you will receive in mail about our needs list and home cooked food is great. We love it. Um, well, on that note. All right. Well, uh, one thing that we did in Olympia, we put out a wish list for people in any community so that we would have things we like we say what we need. But we're not trying to sound like uh, we're wanting to depend upon them. We put out a wish list and people want to do that. Okay, and also remember too what's coming up. Uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that. And it's going to get colder out here. And there's people going to need some kind of heat source for the tents. Candles is not a really good idea, but huh. it does work. But we don't want to burn each other up. But we need a people need to think on a wish list for a heating source. Um, I had an idea about for food, getting like we could put a number like my number up, and then if people like just to coordinate food, uh, if for if people are gonna want to drop off hot food, that we don't get five things of hot food on one night and That's then nothing for the do. next three yeah. nights, right? So yeah. we need to develop a calendar and kind of coordinate it. Yeah, that's what's being done. I like to like, uh, see, like yesterday, I went to, we can all do it if you've got the spare time. You go and they'll give you a free bag of food, dude. 
at the at the co-op maybe a bag of food, dude. I carried all the way over there and my food's over there, so if not, no big deal, but for this event? Yeah, I did get free food. And I got my new pants there, dude. I mean it was all free, dude. They just sign your name. I waited like thirty minutes and they said cool, dude. They said good luck, man. There was a free produce drop off today too at the food bank. Well, it was at the co-op, dude. Take and another thing about the blankets, is there a Salvation Army around here? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Okay, where's that at? Second Street here. Second no, what? it's on up. Oh, okay. There's a building. Oh, okay. that's Red Cross. Yeah, there's the Red Cross. Or St. Vincent de Paul is what I'm thinking of. Like They're closed. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What's, what's the cross from Second what? St. Vincent de Paul? That's a good oh, yeah. question. Oh, yeah, Joe. You can find out though. Oh, at the food bank? And then you were talking about... My suggestion, if anybody is going to go to any businesses in this town, go in there and just ask them if they would have support of the facility. Eureka. I'm not going to let you drive a truck. And they would support us. See if they can put a fire up the window so we would know and see how they could support us. I'm going to go back to the agenda and let Jack speak on what he needs to start asking. Okay, it's Jock. Jock has the floor. He's on the agenda. I really think what uh, um, what Vince is saying. We've been talking about know. this, about yeah. really having Tommy, a chance Tommy, to. What, what you guys doing? We're having a, a meeting right now. We're having yeah. a general meeting. We're, we're doing uh, for Eureka. We support the Occupy Wall Street movement. We're, we're changing the government because it stinks and it's too much wealth at the top, and we don't want that. We want we want a chance to live. Longevity on Earth and it's being destroyed very quickly. It has started. Out I think as a actually protest. yesterday about 4 p.m. And we totally occupied now a revolution. Eighty-two yeah. countries, two thousand protests. Mm -hmm. Your name's Stan in the United yep. States. I'm going to go over yeah. there in the yeah. Yeah. Bank, but I don't want to go with all the there's a lot of food. You, you, you did. Just you put yourself on the list. Hey, man. You put yourself on the list. Thank you. 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 They know where you are. They know where I am now. But you don't know where they are. Oh, okay. I got a good idea, though. Shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, so... That's yesterday's food. Yeah, Cap. I get it. Okay. Could we wait? Jack has the floor. Yeah. Okay. Could we go back to the stack system, please? Yes. To respect the speaker. So what I was saying, like, Zins has a good idea, and we've been trying to have more people that would have literature, like our friend up there, who could just walk out and ask people if they would be involved. That's always a good Have a nice day. But also business. And so that's not exactly what I wanted to talk about. That yeah. I wanted to be sure that was understood. And the other part here is that, you know, it's so wonderful what we've done in just a, a short time. And uh, we can overwhelm this place with encampment and all that. I don't think that's necessarily what we really want to do. I think what we want to do is build more sites. We want to create, help create people, people's interest in taking one up to McKinleyville, going down to Garberville, across the United States until we have such a confluence of sites that then we have the reason to believe that people will understand us when we say we want a constitutional convention. Oh, yeah, Something um, like that. Think global, Sorry, hack local. Uh, so no, you guys should get the get stock. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm right. just a little concerned. Thank you. Um, there's a lot of time uh, late at night when there's when there's only like one or two people awake, and a lot of times during the day where there's only one or two of us out here with signs. I'm afraid if we try to create more sites, um, where are we going to get those from? May I answer that? Yeah. I don't know. I, we didn't know when we started this. When we started on the corner here uh, two and a half weeks ago, there were just about three of us. And then it took four days before we took it in camp. I'm not saying we should take anybody away from it until we have that structure and we're, we're ready, ready. Then we send somebody out who can help teach it. In our, in our, in our uh, like, uh, skill sharing, we can go into this where if we really feel strong, then we can, and we really know what we're doing, we can go someplace and encourage it. And we can send word out to encourage it anyway, even if we never get there. Um, if we can find a company or if uh, we can find the right material, I do not have the skill, I do know how to do it. And that is if we can make like hoodies, like what we got on, and put on there um, humble octave C. Have some kind of logo search that we can wear. And stuff to help represent when we're out in the community and out here. Uh, that would be so cool.
Uh, Makes sense to me, dude. Yeah, two things. Yeah. Um, one is, is Jack, I really like your idea, but uh, I would feel like it's way really in the game. Jewelry. Uh, I might get my hopes up trying to spread things, and then if this doesn't go well, then you know, I really feel sorry for uh, where I put my efforts. I feel like the idea of the free school and building classes and having a class be like spread it to your hometown maybe would get more people in this movement and then also start spending more people out. Um, but like getting to that idea is a wonderful goal. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. On this uh, shirt design, if we could put access humble, yes, with the thumbs up, something plain and simple like thumbs up and say yes, that'd be a good uh, symbol if somebody wanted to work out that drawing on a silk screen. Okay, and I definitely agree with you on the thing about creating more movements, and that's going to take like us doing the free school and then people coming and then taking that what they learn to somewhere else and starting their own movement. That's what it's going to take because we can't take people away from here. And you're right no, about that, we don't Jim. To do that. But what will happen is we will inspire others by our dedication and our resistance to then create other sites where, you know, they will learn and they will be able to start their own sites. So it's not up to us to create the sites, it's up to others to create their own site and um, start their occupation where they are. We just want to have a forum where we open that up and encourage others to occupy other sites. Am I correct in that? Is that correct? taking nonviolent training and we hardly and we didn't hold on to hardly any of them. But we started started seeing that all over the place other kind of movements, not about trees, but about mines, about things. All we win. Once we win we'll go home. Yep. Once government changes. Cool. So you were talking about Earth first? Yeah, so it just it worked because those, those were gypsies and they went back to their hometowns and they did their work and I don't care who does it. I, and I, I, it was the inspiration that they received uh, by seeing that it could be done. And they went home and found something in their hometown about coal mining or something and they just went to work on it and something happened. So I don't care. I just mean that we should always inspire others to do this. That's the first thing. tomorrow uh, afternoon and you know, maybe for whoever's here that's all we'll just talk over stuff um, that's a proposal okay. yeah, yeah. yeah anybody second it um, I had a question I'll second it okay I, thought you, I think you were ahead of me okay, yeah um, I've run skill center classes in preschool down in the bay so if it's something that we're serious about I Possibly get like a calendar up on the wall so when people walk by they could go, Oh, I want to learn how to dot dot dot, and they'll yeah. see you show up Wednesday at 2 o'clock. You know, another great way to get people involved. Yeah, a lot of people they desire peace and calmness, they don't really know how to do it. They're playing workshops, they'd love to go to it yep. if they knew when and where. Jim, you're in the south. I was just curious specifically what the skill sharing workshop is. I'm not. Oh. I, I, I want to know what what that is. Is all. Well, that's like I know some things and you know some things, and we sh we share them. Okay. And sometimes we'll set an agenda and even a priority, like we have to do right here when people have so many different interests. We may find that uh, there's more people that want to do this or more people want to do that, but we have to come to a priority and like say, yeah, we'll take on this right now. 
we take on this. And, and it works. It shows that we could really work together again. Okay, and then we have... Uh, yeah, go for it. Um, I'd love to see something that says, what would you love to learn? And then over a couple days, people say, oh, how the backpack, oh, how the tie knots, oh, how the whatever. Absolutely. And we can start prioritizing them and seeing when the teachers will be here. Yes, that's right. It'll build itself. That's what they're doing in uh, Oakland and other places, I'm sure.